Hello, I'm Libby Elwood, and I'm going to be going over how to get data from GBIF, the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. GBIF is a data aggregator, and many projects upload their data here, be it from a natural history collection or human observation from a citizen science project like iNaturalist or eBird. So it's a great source of biodiversity all around the world. First, go ahead and make yourself an account. It's free and it's easy, and right here on the top right, you can see that I'm already logged in. So go ahead and do that first. Then to get data, on the top left here, there's a nice, easy selection for get data. Today I'll show you how to do that by searching for species. Let us choose camels. I'm going to search for that in the left column here, and then in the main panel I'm going to see the results. This top one is the most common species, and below that you'll see subspecies or hybrids, or variations on what I selected, on what I searched. So let's go ahead and use this top one. We have some representative images there, and below that a map showing where those observations were from and where those specimens were collected. Below that there's some information about the organism and about the data sets. Back up to the top you see there are 4,413 occurrences of this species, and when we click on that green box, we could see that list. I'm going to select one of these entries so you can see what it looks like. This happens to be a human observation. This was uploaded to iNaturalist.org. It was observed outside of Abu Dhabi. Here are the images, and below that is the metadata about this submission. Going back a page to that full list of data, we could download all of this, and we have some options. Simple is uh, exactly what we need for what we'll be doing, so we'll click on that, and then we'll click that we understand this is free of cost but not free of responsibilities, and that we will give the appropriate attributions. This can take up to a couple of hours if it's a really huge file, but usually the download does complete within a couple of minutes. I've already downloaded this, so I'm going to show you how to bring it into Excel. I'm on a Mac. It might look a little bit different if you're using a PC. From the Data tab, I select From Text, and this is the CSV file that was in a zipped file that I got from GBIF. So I'm going to open this. Usually the default setting is, is what I'm looking for, so it's delimited, it's tab delimited, and then this general data format is fine. Okay. And now I have my data nicely organized into columns here. If I had just clicked on that CSV file directly, it would most likely have been a big mush all in one column. So it is important to import it this way instead of just clicking on the file itself. Well, that's it for getting data from GBIF. Do feel free to click all around, check out all the features. It's a really great site and has a ton of great information out there. So uh, check it out.